Hey, this is Bobby from Backyard Beans Coffee Company and I wanted to drop in and talk about our new online exclusive offerings. So these are coffees to give you a heightened sensory experience. And our first offerings that we're releasing are from Ecuador. These are two coffees from the same farm. We have a natural process and a wash process coffee from Carly Garcia's farm. It's called Finca Brewer. And she grows completely Tipica coffee on her farm. And we love Tipica coffee for its floral and citrusy characteristics. So I wanted to brew this coffee up today using our V60 brewer. This is my go-to pour over. Uh, it's the one I'm most familiar with, partly because it's cheap and affordable. Um, the filters are very easily accessible. Um, so I love using the V60. There's a lot of different ways you can brew with it. There's no one perfect way of brewing. So that makes it kind of fun. You can tweak around a lot with all the variables. So the recipe I'm gonna show you today that I dialed in with for the wash process coffee is one method. Uh, I find it a pretty simple method that's pretty easy to replicate. So when I dial in coffees and I'm thinking about how to bring out the best flavors in these coffees, I like to keep the recipe pretty um, standard and then pick one variable to play around with. Uh, so for this, for these coffees, I decided to play around with the ratio. Um, so keeping all else equal, I played around with how much coffee to water I used for these recipes. So let's jump into it. I'm going to grind this coffee. I have 22 grams of coffee, grinding it on 18. All right, so 18 grind on the Bratz Encore. That's a medium coarse grind setting. And as you saw, I wetted the filter. It preheats everything. It rinses out any papery flavor in the filter. So when you pour this in, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you tear your scale so it reads zero and shake this brew bed so it's nice and flat. My water I have set to 203 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna start my timer and pour 60 grams of coffee, or of water, over the coffee. Quickly, we're gonna s swirl about eight times. This is a pretty vigorous spin, and what this does is it mixes all the water with the coffee, so that the coffee starts to absorb that water and release the gas that's uh, present in fresh roasted coffee. And what this does is it, is it gets the coffee ready to be brewed and extracted. So we call this the bloom or the, the pre-infusion and we let it go for about 40 seconds. So at 40 seconds, I'm gonna add 100 grams of water, pouring a nice steady stream of water over the coffee. And once I get to 160 grams, I'm gonna stop pouring. You wanna keep a nice steady stream coming out of your kettle because that will ensure that you have uh, even agitation throughout all the coffee bed. At a minute, 10 seconds, we're gonna add another 100 grams. Nice and steady. I'm moving from the inside to the outside in circles. Your goal is to sink any floating coffee. So pouring up to 260. So that's our second pulse. I really like using this pulse method and I find that it helps get everything saturated and extracted. All right, a minute 40 seconds, our final pour up to 360. And once again, you're moving from the inside to the outside, making sure everything is sunk, is floating. And this should finish brewing at three minutes. If your grind is too fine, it will take much longer to drain. If your grind is too coarse, it's gonna drain too quickly. 
So this brew method, I like to use that agitation in the beginning with the swirl and then a nice steady pour with three pulses, I find really helps boost the extraction, but it's, it's gentle. Like you don't wanna stir too much or swirl too much because what that does is it'll over extract a lot of the fines in the coffee. So I found uh, with the washed processed coffee that a ratio of 22 grams to 360 grams of water was perfect, that it was highlighting the clarity and the acidity that's present in this coffee. I get a lot of flavors of caramel and almond, just some really nice, comforting, approachable flavors. Um, the acidity in the washed coffee is a little bit like lemon and pear. So if you under extract this coffee, it might have an aggressively lemon flavor, kind of like lemon rind. So if you get that, I would grind a little bit finer. Uh, if you find that this coffee is a little bitter and chocolatey and you're not getting that uh, acidity, try grinding a little bit coarser to extract a little bit less. So our brew's done dripping at a little over three minutes. So that's just about where I want it. Um, the natural processed coffee, I found that a tighter ratio, so a stronger ratio of coffee to water really helped bring out the body and the sweetness that are the defining features of that coffee. So I used 22 grams of coffee to 340 grams of water. And I found that the natural, it, it extracts a little bit more easily. Um, and so a higher strength, uh, TDA, like a higher strength of brew really tastes better for the natural. It really highlights the sweetness in the body. Uh, for that coffee, I get brownie notes. I get uh, baked blueberry, uh, some wine, wine, like red wine flavors, and also a floral note, kind of like rose. So that coffee, if it's, if it's like really chocolatey and like grape skin bitterness, it's probably over extracted. So try to coarsen up your grind a bit. And if you get like a tart cherry note in the natural, it's probably under extracted. So you're probably grinding too coarse. So if you're getting a tartness, um, tighten up your grind a bit, go a little finer, and you should be good to go. So I hope you enjoy these two coffees from Ecuador from Carla Garcia. Hope you enjoy.